What's good, Collective? Thank you for tuning in to my Angel Tarot. It's your girl, Mimi. We about to go ahead and uh, just get some random love messages. And let's see what spirit has for us today. Y'all already know way out here. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for continuing to support the channel. I love y'all so motherfucking much, okay? Um, I pretty much started this channel a year ago. And from a year ago to today, I definitely see growth. And I definitely do appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get some love messages from the Romance Angels and see whatever spirit got for us today. Man, y'all, my shoulder hurt. Like, I can barely even pick up my cat. Like... I don't know what happened to me last night, but maybe I slept wrong. Children in reverse. Your love life is being affected by children. So this is saying that children ain't got shit to do with your motherfucking love life, okay? Um, you may be dealing with somebody who got children. You may have children. Whoever it is that's coming into your energy, this person does not care. Like, this person would want to be the stepmother to your motherfucking child, okay? Like, I'm just letting y'all know. Whoever it is that got children, you having children is not going to affect your relationship at all because the person that's coming into your energy would literally love to be a stepmother to your child or a stepfather. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. You dealing with somebody who you got, like, a chemistry with, like, a magnetic fool, like, when y'all fuck, it's like the best sex you ever had in your motherfucking life. Like, you just feel this person's energy. Like, you just want this person with you all the time. You think about this person all the time. Like, even after y'all fuck, you probably still feel his dick lingering inside of you for days. You feel me? You got chemistry with this person, and you don't mind being a motherfucking stepmama. Trust and express your love. So trust did come up in the reverse. This situation is calling you to have faith. Um, I feel like that it's like you may not trust people when it comes to relationships due to what happened in your past. You feel me? But it's like, even though you don't trust, you still like going in with it because you are not about to allow your past to keep you from moving forward. So even though you don't trust, I still believe that you have faith and you still going to give it a chance because the way that you feel about this person the connection that y'all have, like, you like, you know what, I'll take a risk. If my heart get broke, my heart get broke. But you feel deeply for this person, you feel me? Express your love in the reverse. I feel like that you're just taking it a day at a time. You know, like, you're not telling this person, like, pretty much how you feel. Because, honestly, I feel like that you don't even have to express the love to this person. This person don't have to express no love to you because y'all feel it. Even when y'all not around each other, y'all feel it. I feel like you have a soulmate, a soul tie with somebody that's coming into your life and this person do have children. This person want to go on like a date with you. Like this person wants to... um get out of y'all red regular scenery. You know, like this person may want to take you on a trip. This person may want to take you on a cruise. This, this person may want to travel with you. You feel me? But this person wants to enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And this don't have to be just holiday time. This can just be a regular fucking day. Like this person may pop up with a plane ticket. Say, pack your bags. Or this person may pull up with a motherfucking plane ticket and say, get your ass in the car. You ain't got to pack no bags. I'm going to take you shopping when we get there. You feel me? So, yes, I'm feeling really good about this. You and this person may believe in, like, different things. But that's not going to keep y'all away from each other. Because what y'all believe is deeper than... What 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 y'all feel for each other is deeper than what the fuck y'all believe. 
y'all got so much chemistry, y'all probably ain't even get to the point to talk about um what y'all believed in. You feel me? Like just save that for later. Save that for later. Take your time with this new love. I feel like this is a fucking new love. Let your friends help you. You feel me? Um friends as in your spirit guides, your angels, and your motherfucking ancestors. Act ask for and accept support from others. I feel like that you should keep this new relationship quiet. Don't tell nobody about it because haters is going, hey, okay, you and this person definitely do got ro romantic feelings for each other. I feel like that y'all fucking already. And this is where all of this chemistry is coming from. You're just hoping that this person is not being deceptive. You hope that this person is being real with you. You feel me? Like... You hope that th these feelings are fucking real. You love yourself first, and that's what's making this person, you know, you love yourself first, and that's why God is bringing you this person. And this is why this person will think that you will be a great stepmother because you know how to love yourself first. You take care of your home. You take care of your animals if you have animals. You and this person are about to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This person is um, about to express to you their feelings for you. Religious factors. Like I fucking said, like y'all may believe in two different things. And I feel like that this is what y'all finally going to uh, talk about. Because sooner or later, it's going to have to be talked about. Just take your time. You feel me? Stay optimistic about your fucking love life, okay? Stay optimistic and release your fucking ex, okay? Release your ex out of your energy because this new love that's coming in, oh my God. This person going to be better than your ex. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, get, get some wisdom oracle. My shoulder really hurt. Like, this shit never felt like this before. Y'all, I got some cutting last night. <laughs> you ain't getting no cutting. <laughs> if anybody gets some cutting in the house, it's going to be me. And then when he left, I had made me this salmon pasta, some good ass sauce. He gave me the munchies. I'm just playing y'all. <laughs> no, I'm not. All right, let's see what the Wisdom Oracle got to say. I hope y'all resonating with this reading because so far I feel like I am. Because I would love to be a stepmama. <laughs> And then it's like, you can't judge people just because they got kids. You feel me? People have kids with uh, with uh, other motherfuckers all the time. The relationship didn't work, okay? All right, spirit. Why? Why is this why here? Yay. The yang came up in the reverse, though. You may have uh, asked spirit, why did it not work out between you and your ex? This is why. Because y'all know, the last romance angel card was uh, release your ex. You may have always asked, like, why? Like am, like, am I not good enough for love? You know, like, no. You are good enough for love. You were just dealing with somebody who wasn't for you. You feel me? It's time to take a nap on this motherfucker. You feel me? And go towards what's faded. And I feel like that this new person that you got chemistry with, this is faded. This is faded for you. And it's going to bring you a lot of abundance. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Happiness and balance. This person is coming in to balance you out. Give me more about this person. Wow. This person is going to be a blessing for you. And you're going to be a blessing for this motherfucking person. Because it's faded. 
Y'all gonna get a lot of money together. Y'all gonna bring balance to each other, and, and y'all gonna start a new life. So this this person, this this new person that's coming in your life, y'all about to start a new life, and y'all gonna be super duper happy together. You feel me? Like you're letting go of this chaos and conflict going round and round in circles with your ex. So you you definitely cut your ex off, like. And I just feel like that show ex just want to keep coming up in this reading. Like, you're cut off, okay? Let's talk about the new person. Because you're this new person's feminine. This new person deserve you. Yeah, it's time to go. It's time to go towards something different and be flexible with your motherfucking self. Be flexible with this person. I just seen mending at the bottom of the deck. Ain't no mending. It is not no mending. This person is about to bring you peace and luck. Like, I'm feeling really good about this new energy. Because you definitely, uh, uh, who it hurt so bad? I tried to stretch it out. That shit did not work. Oh, I'm in pain. Okay, let's go ahead and get the modern witch tarot in. This is a beautiful motherfucking reading. You got new love coming in. Or you have options around this bitch. I don't know about y'all, but I like to have one option at a time. Like, I don't... That's kind of fake. If I'm fucking with you and then you leave and I'm fucking with somebody else... That mean I really don't like you like that. And I don't see us going far. You feel me? This weather in Atlanta today, it was so fucking humid earlier. It was raining, but it was hot as fuck. Now it looked like the fucking sun finna come out. And it's still humid and hot as fuck. Like, I got the air on. I had took my trash to the dumpster earlier. Sweat my fucking edges out. Like, I just washed deep conditioned and like straighten my hair last night i wrapped it i woke up this morning i'm like okay my shit looking good i take my ass outside walk to the fucking dumpster come back I, a, a bitch is sweating like literally if that's the case i should have went and fucking worked out today you feel me all right spirit show me what i need to see for my beautiful collective One card at a time, please, Spirit. Four of Pentacles. Why is this Four of Pentacles here? Wow. You gonna hold on to this person because y'all are gonna like move mountains. You, 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 you and me can move a mountain. A Knight of Pentacles. I feel like y'all gonna be working together. Y'all gonna bring a lot of balance into each other's life. It's like, I'm getting like power couple vibes. Like y'all gonna be in business together. Y'all gonna like be there for each other. Like literally have each other's backs. Like y'all gonna be standing e each other's ground. You feel me? And y'all gonna, this relationship is about to happen fast. You may not see like it coming. You probably don't even know if this person really want to be in a relationship with you, but this person does want to give to you. I feel like that you don't see this coming, but there's definitely a lot of passion here. I feel like that you and this person have a lot of sex as well. This person wants justice with you. This person wants stability with you. This person wants to pretty much marry you. 
This may be a twin flame. Peace. Patience. I feel like that this person looks at you as an earth angel. Like, you just bring so much peace into this person's life. You know, like, this person may be going through, like, a lot of shit in their life. But this person, when they're with you, it's like you take everything away. You take all of the pain away. This person want to work with you. This person wants to invest in you. Three of pentacles plus seven of pentacles equals ten of pentacles. So this this person, de de uh, this person definitely want to put in a lot of work and create a home life with you. Even a family. Like I said, even a fucking family. This person want to get you pregnant. If y'all fucking, this person probably nutting you like three, four times. Every time y'all fuck, this person nuts all up in them guts. Like literally. This person trying to move forward with you. This person got some feelings. This person got some feelings and wants to come in and give you these feelings. You may be dealing with a uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Wow, with the Queen of Cups. Y'all both feel the same way about each other. Y'all both feel the same way about each other. Y'all gonna end up married with the Emperor at the bottom of the motherfucking deck. Empress, Emperor. King of Cups, Queen of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. What the fuck I tell y'all? Three of Pentacles plus seven of Pentacles equals ten of Pentacles. This person be nothing in you. This person got some feelings for you, and this person wants to create a home life with you. Let me put those up because that's what I'm about to take a picture with. I cannot make this shit up. Oh my God. This is going to be the love of a fucking lifetime, okay? Ten of Swords. I feel like both of y'all done been through the hurt, been through the pain and the struggle already. I, I feel like that y'all been through the same thing. You feel me? Hermit. Y'all both went into hermit mode. Y'all had to let some things go from the past. Y'all had to release some shit from the past. And since y'all did that inner work, God is allowing y'all both to give equally to each other. the Hierophant and the Six of Swords. Y'all are going towards marriage. Y'all are going towards commitment. And y'all gonna come in like so shy or whatever. But this is, uh, this new relationship that you're getting yourself into, it's about to turn into something big. I feel like that that's why your ex was popping up in, these, uh, in the beginning of the reading. Because your ex gonna be pissed the fuck off. Your ex gonna try to come in and fuck this up. But you can't fuck up what's destined, okay? So let's go ahead and get some Moonology cards to close out the reading. Nine times out of ten, I'm in my feelings. Ten times out of nine, I'm only human. Tell me what did I do wrong? Feels like that question has been posed. I'm moving on. I always been committed. I've been focused. I always paid attention, been devoted. Tell me what did I do wrong? All right. What do you need to release that motherfucking ex? You already released that ex. Maybe yo, maybe your new person needs to release some motherfucker out their energy. I feel like this this person is about to release somebody out their energy, and that's why this heart to heart conversation finna happen. The answers you need are coming. If you wonder if this person like you, want to take it to the next level with you, the answers you need are coming. Be bold and make the first move. You feel me? Like even though I don't know, your emotions are running high about this person. I feel like that you feel really deeply about this person. Just stay yourself. Keep. Keep remaining yourself and being bold, being who you are, because that's going to get that person into a comfortable state to come in and contact you and, you know, tell you what it is that they really feel. Expect powerful change. I really feel like that. Yo, this person, 
needs to release an X. That's why X is coming out of here. Because new love is only co coming in for you because you already released your X. I feel like this person has an X in their energy that they need to release. The end of a tough cycle approaches and have faith in your dreams. So, y'all, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in to your motherfucking girl, my angel motherfucking tarot, okay? It's your motherfucking girl, Mimi. I'll be back. Oh, that shit hurts.